Hi class, it's your virtual science helper, Mr. Frizzle. And today, we're gonna learn about attraction and repulsion. So, attraction is when two objects are attracted to each other, like magnets, when they snap together. And repulsion is when two magnets actually kinda don't attract to each other, they actually stay away from each other. Let's see how we can test this. So, we've got some clay here and we've got some magnets, some paper clips, we've got a ruler. Let's get right into it, guys. So, first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna stick it right inside the center of your clay so that it can stay standing straight up. And you're gonna do the same with your ruler. Be sure that the one is facing down. All right. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one red magnet and we'll take one red magnet. We're gonna put it at the base of our pencil and then we're gonna take one blue magnet and we're going to place it there. Wow, pretty cool, right? Now we can use our ruler here to actually measure to see how much it actually attracts. Uh, it's about, I would say, about one and a half inches, give or take. But what do you think will happen if I add these paper clips to the top of this magnet? Will it make it heavier? And maybe it'll move down a few. Let's see. And they just stick on. You don't have to stick your, your paper clips through the pencil. They just stick right onto the magnet. They're attracted to the magnet. You get it? Attraction. <laughs> so we'll get all of those paper clips on there to see if it actually makes our magnet heavier. It looks like it's going down a bit. And don't worry if you run out of room on your magnet, guys, because the magnet actually makes the paper clips magnetize as well. So they'll stick together even if the paper clips aren't stuck to the magnet. They'll stick to each other. So it looks as if it went down a bit. It's about at about one, one inch, 1.1. So, all right, let's take that off. Let's remove all these paper clips here. So, now let's see what happens when we add two red magnets to one blue magnet. Do you think it'll repel even more? Let's see. Wow, that's really cool. I really like that bouncing effect. Let's see. Looks like it's getting a bit higher. Looks like we're at about two, maybe 2.1, but about, let's call it about two inches. So it's, it's getting pretty hot there. So let's remove that. Let's see what happens if I put this envelope here. I poked a little hole in this envelope here. And what happens if I separate the magnets by a piece of paper? Do you think it'll attract or do you think it'll repel even more? Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Let's see where we're at. It's about the same. Seems as though the paper doesn't really affect it. All right. But also, I have here a piece of styrofoam. 
This is kind of thick, way thicker than the piece of paper. Let's see what happens when I, let me move with the silver bit. Ugh. There we go. So I'll take this, put it there, and let's see. So now the magnets are separated by this styrofoam. Let's see if that affects how much it repels. It looks like it actually kind of went down a bit. It's interesting. Let's see, where are we at? We're still about two, maybe 2.1. So it seems to have gone about the same. So take those off. Oh, a little bit of repel. All right. Take this off. So I wonder what would happen if I put our blue magnet at the bottom. And we take our red magnets and see if it'll repel. And how hot, because this magnet's a little bit heavier. It looks as though it's about, about two. So this is really interesting, guys. It seems as though when, it seems as though when the magnets it doesn't matter how many magnets you have, the repulsion seems to be about the same. I wonder what you guys got. Was it the same when you added the paper clips? Was it higher or lower? Was it the same higher or lower when you added the paper? Was it the same higher or lower when you added the styrofoam? And was it the same higher or lower when you flipped the different types of magnets? It's your virtual science helper, Mr. Frizzle. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.